Okay, this will be an interesting one. This will be a funny one. Something that, it's not my cup of tea. A cup of tea? Well, you're going to find out what, what silly thing I just said. Wondering we're going to go. I'm going to make it photo, photo paper. This is going to be an interesting one. If we can make it look really nice. It's going to be a challenging one, folks. So we're just going to quickly get in here and set this silly shitter up As a, again. I think the contrast is going to stay there. We're going to lighten it right up. So this is going to be a challenging one to do, to get the positioning right and the, everything else. But it's a funny, I just made a pun out of it. You'll find out what I mean. Um, what else? What have we got? What is this thing that we're talking about that's going to be a little challenging? We've got here. Hello, Australia. It's a coffee mug. Right, it's a mug. Coffee, tea, whatever you fancy. Haha, <laughs> rhyme. We've got here, we've got this is pictures of Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth and Cairns. So we're going to hold on to this like we're drinking coffee and we're going to make something interesting out of it. But I, I made that joke about not my cup of tea. Fuck, it's a terrible joke. But we're going to just gently place it on the glass. I can't see much behind. We're just going to use my camera hand to press the start button. So let's see how this has come out. I'm just going to gently put that down and we're just going to hit the finish button and then the start button again. Conic and Minolta shit. And we're going to make this into something interesting. So we're photocopying the side which has cans on it. And cans, I used to live there when I was a kid. Uh, I was brought up there for a short time and it's left a lasting impression on me. It's a beautiful place. So if you want to go if you want to go somewhere nice cans is a really good start and that does look quite nice uh, the positioning's not ideal uh, I should have pushed it a bit further down so we're going to try that again it's not easy getting the positioning right with this we're just going to press the buttons I put it too far I've got to push it further up this way I can't see from here so I'm just going to push it up further. Hopefully I can I can get it with my camera. So we're just going to push it further up, just like that. And we're just going to press the start key again. It's not easy doing this sort of work, folks. Trying to get the positioning right, especially when you can't see <laughs> see it fully. It's a nice looking cup. It's just like it's an Australiana cup. Now we've pushed it too far across. Uh, doesn't look as good as the first version. This one looks like I don't know. It's it's not looking as good. Um, wondering we can just have some creative license with this and just enlarge it vertically and horizontally. We're not going to bother uh, printing it straight off. We're just going to now switch it to copied paper. We're going to just take this away. I don't know, I'll probably use it for myself. Um, it's a nice piece of uh, touristy Australiana. So I'm wondering, we're going, to, we're going to use the first one we did, not this one, the first one. The first one is the one we did, and we're going to enlarge it uh, vertically and horizontally. So I'm thinking we're going to do it that way. We're going to make it different. So we're going to make the so how are we going to do this folks this is tricky um we're going to enlarge it out to, we want to enlarge it so it goes down that way and that way so we're going to have to um put it on the glass up here like so i don't know if this is going to really uh work folks we're just going to try so we're just going to put that on the glass like so and we're just gonna go there and we're gonna just get in here and do it manually so we're gonna make it on the horizontal we're gonna make it a hundred 
and 30. And on the vertical, we're going to make it 100. And on the vertical, we're going to make it, we're going 120 for some reason with, with our intuition. So now we're just going to work on this interesting image. We're now just going to drop the copy density a bit darker. We're going to make it, maybe just leave the contrast alone. We're just going to leave it as is. And let's see if we've made an intuitive uh, decision here to make this more interesting. It's a shame I didn't get it in the centre because I like, would have liked it. Uh, but we could probably just have a bit of creative license with it, so as to speak. So a bit of creative license is a good thing, and we fucked it. Um, we didn't enlarge it enough. Uh, I'm actually wondering. Wonder if we're going to make make it like we were, or whether we're going to just keep it like that. Um, I'm actually thinking we're gonna we're gonna do something. We're gonna go back, stuff it. We're not gonna fuck fuck around with it. We're gonna just go back and try and make a good first take. I'm not gonna cheat this time. This is a bit bit of a cheat I was trying to do, trying to get out of the difficult bits. So I'm trying to just so I'm going back here. And we're going to just go and just do it the difficult way. We're just going to have to set this silly thing up the way we should. We're just going to now quickly get back to our old settings that we had. So we're just going back. Sorry, folks, I was just doing that. I just thought I could do a bit of creative license with it. But it looks like we just have to be happy with the original plan. And that was to do it straight off the glass. So I'm just trying to see how close to the edge I am with my hand and we're just gonna put this on the glass like so and we're gonna make this look really really nice we're gonna do it really nice folks so we're gonna just do it the hard way and see how we go and I'm gonna make one master copy that's good and then we can print it off we've got to make this look nice folks this is going to be prolongated because of my stupidity Sorry, folks, for making this into a meal, so to speak. But I think we've got a good, uh, a fairly good positioning. Uh, I still think it could be better, but we're not going to get too fast. We're going to basically... Um, so we're just going to work out what we're going to do next. So we're going to go and use that as our master copy. So we're just going to put the mug away once again. It's not the greatest. I could have angled it better, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe I could do a little bit of an enlargement or maybe we're just going to... We'll just see how we how we pull it. We're going to 100%. Um, we're going to make it 100%. And the, the middle of the, the mirror image is going to be... Uh, the centre of it is going to be there. I'm pretty sure it's not the greatest um, positioning it could have been better maybe but we're not going to get overly fussed we're not going to be doing it like what we were trying to do but we don't we're not going to get overly fussed we're just going to get in there and do our work um, so the hundred we're going to make it uh, hundred uh, hundred and four by 104. So this is just to make me look like I'm holding, I'm having a cup of coffee because I do enjoy coffee. I do drink the stuff on a regular basis. I probably drink too much of it, folks, but I do enjoy a cuppa. I'm just going to make it slightly contrasty. So I do drink my coffee, so I appreciate a nice uh, coffee mug. I still wish I had a, had a better positioning of this, uh, but anyway, it looks nice and iridescent now. That looks really quite nice colour-wise. So we're going to make that our first image. I'm not happy with the vertical. I still think 
it could have been uh, better than it was. Um, but we don't want, we don't have to ask for perfection, folks, all the time. But there's no such thing as perfect in this world. You got to realize, you got to realize this is a broken world. This world is not utopia. We're not living in some kind of paradise. Even though there are parts of this world that are like paradise, it is not paradise. Um, there is no such thing as perfection in this world. Sorry to disappoint some utopians, but, you know, that's just the bottom line. Nothing's perfect, right? So, but you've got to aim, still got to aim, folks, for excellence. You still can do an excellent job without being perfect. Even if you only get 100, 198 out of 100, for something that's good that is brilliant that is that's ex that's what's called excellence it's not perfection but it's excellence it's trying to do as much as you can with the imperfection of this world and excellence is something we all should aim for what we're good at what makes us happy and try to make these things that we do that makes us happy make the rest of the world sing make the rest of the world smile and enjoy it we don't want poverty. We don't want uh, we don't want homelessness or inequality. We want a world where everyone gets to achieve what they're capable of. My my lifetime goal, my future goal, is to build the best photocopier there ever was, um, and my goal is to get ninety eight percent out of a hundred for as, as to achieve that to make it. As, as close to perfection as possible without being perfect. And 98%, in my opinion, is, is really great. So I'm hoping to build one day the best photocopier there is. So we've all got to strive for excellence. We've all got to find our, our place in this world. And when we do, we can really enjoy ourselves doing it. So now that looks brilliant. I think now I'll just go.